Hey, my name is Justin. I am a wedding filmmaker based out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Over the past few weeks, I've received a lot of questions regarding audio and how we use that in our wedding videos. Rather than answer all of these questions at different points in time on different platforms, I thought it would be best to just condense all of this information down into one FAQ style video to answer all of your questions. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in with our first question. Can we use our favorite song in our video? Technically yes, but realistically no. In order to use a song in your wedding video, you need to pay the artist a licensing fee for it. More times than not, this is incredibly expensive, anywhere from like five to six figures. Now, if you have that kind of a budget to work with and you want a Shania Twain song, for example, in your wedding video, then by all means, let's talk. We can make it happen. If that's not in your budget, you're probably wanting to know then what songs can we use? I use multiple music licensing services to provide music for the wedding videos that I produce. These companies work with independent musicians to connect them with people like me who create videos. There are thousands of professionally recorded and produced songs on these platforms to choose from and use in the videos from a wide variety of genres and styles. I guarantee there is a song on there that you will find that you like in your wedding video. That leads us into the next question. Can we select the music? Yes, I encourage you to be a part of the music selection process. I can even help guide you on selecting the song that is gonna best suit your video and help tell your story in the most effective way possible. However, I understand that wedding planning is full of decisions and I don't wanna burden you with yet another decision you have to make. So if you don't want to select the music, that is totally fine. As a musician myself, I'm able to recognize and select music that will best fit into your video based off of what your music tastes are and your preferences. That's a conversation we can have later down the road, but yes, I can select music for you. One thing I will address though is whether or not you're selecting the music or I am, we need to agree on what music will be used before any editing begins. Why do we need to agree on music beforehand? Your entire wedding video is going to be edited to the rhythm and beat of the song or songs that we select for it. On top of that, the music is usually cut, rearranged, and warped to best fit the video. For me to change what song is used after the fact would essentially be starting from scratch from the very beginning and be a whole nother edit. I'm more than happy to do it if it's requested, but it will cost you. That's why I like to have all of this stuff selected and agreed upon beforehand. It just makes the whole process a lot easier. If I wrote a song for my spouse, can we use that in our wedding video? If your song was recorded, mixed, and mastered professionally, and it fits the mood of the story that we're trying to tell, then absolutely. At the end of the day, I hold creative editing rights, and if I don't think that it's going to best tell the story of your wedding day, then I hope that you can be understanding of that. I'll still more than likely use music from my resources just to help better tell the story and be a part of the overall viewing experience. If you want to see an example of how I did this, look at this video up here. Casey wrote a song for Caitlin and it turned out really cool and I really like the way that we handled that in the edit. Check it out right up here. Casey and Caitlin is pretty cool. Go look at it. Moving away from music, but still touching on audio, there's a few other questions I would like to answer. Do we have to read letters from each other? No. If you don't feel comfortable reading out loud on camera, I'm not going to make you. I do enjoy having the footage to work with as it gives me a lot more freedom in the editing process and it does pull at the heartstrings of your viewers, but at the end of the day, if you're not comfortable with it, I'm not going to make you. Will you edit in our vows? Unless you specifically request not to, yeah, I'll put your vows in there. Especially if you're not wanting to record any kind of letter readings or something. I like to have you guys featured in the video visually and audibly, and vows are really good for this. How do you record the vows? This varies from wedding to wedding because every wedding is different and every situation is different, but we have a few different methods that we use to record the vows. Method number one is just a tiny little lapel mic that gets clipped onto the groom's jacket and then the box gets dropped into an inside pocket. This is usually good enough to pick up his audio as well as the bride's audio and sometimes even the officiant. Method number two is using the DJ and or venues sound system to tap into. 
If the officiant is going to be holding up a microphone for you and your spouse during your vows, then we have the ability to tap into their system and pull really, really nice, clean, crisp audio of the vows. Method number three isn't as common as the other two, but it produces great results if we're able to do it, and that's hiding uh, a microphone somewhere on the altar. If we have the ability to be discreet with it, we like to put one up there as backup, plus it just has great audio quality. We may even use all three of these methods at once to cover our bases and make sure that we still get a good signal, even if one of the sources can't hear you well enough. One thing I like to let couples know of beforehand is that we may need to re-record your vows at a later date. This is totally normal. We're still gonna record the original audio at your ceremony, so you will have that forever. But for example, if you have an outdoor ceremony and the wind's blowing around really fast, it's gonna make a lot of noise on the microphone and it's not gonna be good quality. And we want, we want your video to be top notch. If you're paying us to make a video, we want it to be worth your money. So we are going to get together with you at some point afterwards so we can get high quality professional audio recorded in the event that uncontrollable circumstances interfere with our audio quality. That's about all I've got for audio talk today. Thank you for watching this video. If I didn't get to your question, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to answer it there. If you learned something from this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It actually makes a huge difference. Thanks. Aww.